Boo, we uh, boo, we boo, we bow. No idea what this is. So I guess we're gonna find out. I'm reacting to what exactly is a we a boo? Hope I'm saying that right. Let's start this shit. Oh god, I can see the dislike bar already. Hey, how's it going? Uh, yeah. my bad. So a few days ago, I did a video called What Exactly Is An Otaku? If you guys haven't seen that, then click this annotation or link in the description below. But in the comment section of that video, this video that I'm going to talk to today right now is was my most requested. Now, I was really just hesitating to make this video. Like is Kirby videos. in the background. Ooh, when you put that W word in the title of any of your videos, then uh, shit just hits the fan. Now, if you guys don't know what the W word is, then you obviously haven't seen the title. The W word is a word that is used a lot, uh, usually in about 95% of the hate comments that are said towards me, and that is the word weeaboo. Now, I'm actually oh, pretty weeaboo. angry about the word weeaboo used all over YouTube and just the internet in general. Not because I get called it and I hate the hate comments or whatever what the fuck it is, but is because, it? like I said, 95% of hate comments that are based on anime YouTubers or anime or just any kind of Japanese thing in general uses this word. But unfortunately, oh, it's about anime. No wonder I don't understand know what the anime. word weeaboo means. And they just use it because oh, anime is just weird to something me. bad and something that has to do with Japan. So I'm going to educate you guys today by answering the question. What exactly is a weeaboo? First of all, let's look at the definition of what a weeaboo is in case you guys don't know. A weeaboo is a non-Japanese person who basically denounces their own culture and calls themselves Japanese. They try to learn Japanese through the anime they watch and usually end up pronouncing it wrong and looking like a complete idiot. Keep in mind that a non-Japanese person can like the culture, watch anime, speak the language and respect the culture while still keeping in touch with their own, which keeps them from being a weeaboo, Japanophile, etc. Weeaboos basically disrespect the culture and make complete asses of themselves. Now before we dive into In what one makes one year out one the other, right? Fuck, let's I still don't know what the fuck it means. About this word. And the first misconception is when people call me a weeaboo. If you guys don't know, I may not look like it, I may not sound like it, but it is true that I have Japanese blood running through my body. I am Japanese. And now if you guys were listening Good to the to definition know. just then, then you would know that a Japanese person can't be a weeaboo. It's not a matter of because they know the culture or anything like that. It completely defies the actual definition of the word. Calling a Japanese person a weeaboo is like calling a black guy a wannabe black guy. It just doesn't make sense on a definition scale. I can so see what he's talking about. All those about hate now. comments that you guys throw at me calling me a fucking weeaboo or whatever it is. Wannabe Japanese. That shit don't work, bro. Okay. Second misconception is that just because you watch anime and read manga, it doesn't make you a weeaboo. You know what you call a person who watches anime and enjoys it? An anime fan. And yeah. the third misconception is that you can be a weeaboo even if you don't watch anime. Since when was it established really? that if you watch anime, you're automatically a weeaboo? And uh, brace yourselves for the huge newsflash, but anime and manga does not equal Japanese culture. There is so much more to Japanese culture than anime and manga. And if you think that anime and manga is the core of Japanese culture, you're an idiot. Then you yourself are the weeaboo. Because keep in mind that the key term There's of a bunch this of stuff definition of the word weeaboo is not disrespecting the culture. The so first I can see what and forefront step of weeaboo-ness is thinking that the Japanese people, the Japanese culture, and Japan as a general is the most superior country in the world only by using the little understanding of Japanese culture that a person has. You see, only the people who have actually gotten to the step can understand, but you get to a point where you love Japan so much that you actually fucking hate it. Because you love Japan so much that you go Japan out and explore all it's the a beautiful bits and country. pieces and all the nooks I and crannies of the Japanese culture and what makes up the Japanese culture, and you realize that it's not as great as you thought it originally was. Like, it's not until you realize that Japan, to to Japan is an extremely xenophobic culture, and it just has some of the most what-the-fuck things that are integrated into their culture at a subconscious level, that you realize that... Hey, Japan, Isn't there a toilet isn't restaurant in Japan? Perfect. And this really sit on to eat? Country, thinking that the Japanese have some weird shit. Another, just from the but that is why I want to go to Japan. It's really the opposite of the world over there. Yourself walk like an ass, and that really is the core of what a weeaboo is in the Japanese sense. Now I'm going to give you guys a typical example of a real life weeaboo that I actually heard from a 
friend of mine not too long ago. So this person who will go unnamed decided to homestay in Japan for several months because he wanted to learn the Japanese culture. He was very interested in learning Japanese, probably because from a huge influence that he got from anime. Now naturally at a homestay, you respect the household rules while also learning True. gradually, in case you already didn't know, about the cultural etiquette and the cultural rules that revolve around Japan and Japanese yeah, households. Because you'll be an what asshole if you do Instead, he empties out a whole bag of fermented soybeans, or natto as it's called in Japan, empties it out into somebody else's rice cooker oh. without permission and starts eating it. Now, before anything, even I know that's bad. Rude in any Japan, culture. They're like, like, motherfucker, ask for permission. Just because you're a homestay, it doesn't make it your house. So naturally, the homeowner of the homestay place gets angry at this guy saying, you know, oh, you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't do that. You should learn the rules. But since the guy was an English speaking person, the homeowner confronts him in English. Was and does he the homestay like apologize for his actions and learns from that experience? No. Instead, he calls the homeowner a racist because oh. he oh. was confronting him in English, presuming that the homestay didn't know how to speak Japanese. Damn. Motherfucker, do you even Japan? Do you see everything that's wrong with this situation? It doesn't matter what nationality or culture you belong to. That shit is stupid. Calling someone a racist because they spoke to you in your natural language and getting angry about that because you want to learn Japanese and they didn't think you understood Japanese because you were in Japan. That's just ignorant. That, my friends, is what a weeaboo is. So let's go back to the first question. What exactly is a weeaboo? Simply put, a weeaboo is somebody who is obsessed with the Japanese culture or a specific part of Japanese culture and thinks they know everything about it, but instead they end up disrespecting the culture while also denouncing their own. In other so words, a Japanese they're self-righteous assholes. Now That's remember basically the what it is, at the beginning it? of the video. A non-Japanese person can watch anime, learn the culture, learn the language, respect the culture, while keep, still keeping in touch with their own, which stops them from being a weeaboo. Just because you like anime, or just because you like Japanese movies, just because you're trying to learn Japanese, just because you want to go to Japan and experience the culture, does not make you a weeaboo. However, if you do any of the above, and think that you know everything about the culture or Number everything rule, about do the not language, fuck up or in think Japan. that you yourself are just as good as the actual Japanese people in Japanese culture is what makes you a weeaboo. So I hope this video actually cleared up the meaning of the word weeaboo for you guys. And haters, you should probably bring some new material because that shit has never offended me from the beginning. You can call people weeaboo if you want, but 95% of the time, 99% of the time, majority of the time, the people you call weeaboos aren't weeaboos. They're just people who like Japanese culture or like specific parts of Japanese culture. Ain't nothing and there wrong is with that. nothing wrong with that at all. If you want to learn Japanese, if you want to learn about the Japanese culture, if you want to watch anime, if you want to go to Japan and experience the Japanese culture for yourself, then good on you. Go ahead and do it. If you're interested in it, then go ahead and do one it. Day. Keep in mind though, one there day. are weeaboos out there. Those assholes who disrespect the culture that they think they know everything about and say that their culture that they grew up in originally is a piece of shit. Let's just make this nice and clear. Every culture, every country is a piece of shit in their own way. True. There is no perfect country and Japan especially Nobody's perfect. does not qualify as a perfect country. Anyways guys, let me know in the comments down, below. Do know you know anybody perfect. or do you know a story of someone who is an actual weeaboo or could you have perhaps no. in the past been a weeaboo yourself? I want you guys to let me know in the comments below. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. As always, like, friends, enjoy. Subscribe for any other event. I'll see you guys next video whatever I make. Keep watching anime. Ciao! His outro is good. I like it. That's a good beat. I could be wrong though.
because I'm I don't know much about dubstep, but yeah, this guy informed me a lot about what exactly a weeaboo is. I'm still learning about this. I learned a bit. I'd like to learn some more. And like I said, one day I'd like to visit Japan. One day! One day! Yeah. But yeah, you learn in Japan. It's like what you know in Japan. What I'm trying to say is, because I'm going off, my, I had a brain fart there. Don't fuck up in Japan. <laughs> Because they get easily offended over there. This is what they do. Anyways, take it easy, human or nation. Bye.